Hello, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing? I guess I'm doing all right. I guess. I guess I make it. Lord, so far so good. I guess. All right, darlings, we're finna do this beautiful clock mold that Miss Patricia sent me. But first, let's do the um, the board for the blessing board for July is Miss Stacy Snorf, Miss Danette Withrow, and Miss Patricia Davis. Shout outs, Miss Billy Holman Creations, Cosmic Carol Creations, India Brady Art, Art by Me by Andrew Walker, Nap Time Creations, Tanya Beecher Wood Turning, T and Art, Red C Liz, and my baby Christopher. Hey darling, how you doing today, baby? Hope you enjoying your day, honey. And thank you for watching and I love you. Let me know how y'all doing, Miss Lisa. All right, now, on the prayer board, continue prayers for Miss Brenda Gaddy. Continue prayers for Miss Stacy Snorf and her mama and Miss Stacy's friend Janice for the loss of her nephew. Let's send prayers of peace and comfort, babies, okay? Um, Miss Annette and her mama. Miss Rose and her mama. I love y'all, Miss Rose. Give your mama a hug for me, baby. Miss um, Vicky, she's having physical therapy on her hip. Let me know if you're still going to physical therapy, Miss Vicky, and how you doing? Miss Bonnie Davis, her husband was supposed to have heart surgery May 31st. He couldn't because of his breathing. So let's pray his breathing gets better so he can get um, the procedure that he needs. Okay, darling. Mr. Floyd. Let's pray for Mr. Floyd. Um, Robbie Ivy, Levi the Miracle Warrior on Facebook. Miss Jenny for the loss of her fur baby. Miss India. Bless her heart. The infection's gone out of her eye. It's still just half open, she says. She goes back to the doctor tomorrow. So let's pray she gets a good report. Okay? And Casey Bowman for his help. All right, babies. Let's get started. I'm going to let y'all know something right this minute. I picked out, I was going to use these. And that is pretty. And it glows. And I throw me some little diamonds in there. And then I said, I don't want to do that. So then I got me some uh, metallic alcohol ink. I was going to do an upside a reverse alcohol pour, you know, upside down, a reverse, whatever you call it. Let me cut some light on. So, then I thought, well, I could do seashells. I could do just a seashell clock. And that would have been, that'd be pretty. Now, what in the whole mess is in there? And I uh, changed my mind about that. I said, ah, I don't want to do anything beachy. Even though I love the beach, you know. I wish I was on the beach. That'd be awesome. Ooh, just take me a little old trip to the beach. That'd be great. But I changed my mind about that. So, now then, what I decided on, I'm going to use these rose gold um, glass shards. Ain't those pretty? Holy mess. And I'm going to put those around here. Now there's a little section in there. I don't know if y'all can see it. But it stops. There it is. It stops right there. Now that's where my glass is going to go. Okay? Then I'm going to dust with this rose red foil flake. And I'm going to dust this part with the foil flake. And I'm going to put tape right here. Okay? And that's what that looks like. Ooh! That's so pretty, ain't it? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. And that's what I'm going to do with that. Now then, I'm not sure. I think I want to put for the rest of it after that part cures. Now I'm going to be using UV resin for this because I have no patience, honey. I cannot wait for that little bitty bit to cure. So I'm going to be using what UV resin I have left. Addiction. I ordered some and it's not here yet, and that's unusual. So, 
anyway. And then we're going to be using this. This is uh, from Less Resin. It is Electric Resin Mixer. Shut your mouth. And you get two of these stirrers. I got the big one on there. <laughs> Miss Stacy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so you can turn it all the way down and mix slow. Or you can turn it medium. Or you can turn it high. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> so we're going to be trying that and see how that works. Now, in the box you get the user manual, of course. And you get two size. Come on here, camera. You get two sizes of this thing. I'm going to use the big one. Well, mm, I might. Mm, I don't know yet. But anyway, that's what you get in the box. So we're fitting to uh, see how it works and see if it causes any bubbles and see how good it mixes and all that good stuff. Okay? Now then, here we go. Let me get my UV. Boy, I'm ready. I think I got enough in here just to do my rocks. Look at that. I'm calling them a rock. Hmm. Yeah. And then I thought about painting it. I was going to... I thought about doing a lot of stuff. Okay, so anyway, let's get with it. Let's get with it, babies. Y'all, I don't know what happened, but something got in my neighbor's chicken coop and killed every one of, of their chickens. Every one of them. <sighs> he said it was a dog. I don't know. So anyway, ain't that, oh, oh, ain't that pretty. So y'all say a prayer for them because they, y'all, they love their chickens now. They the ones that used to give me uh, hen eggs. And I'm telling you, every one of them killed every one of them. It's pitiful. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think I'm going to go up there while this is curing and see if they need any help, you know, getting the chickens out. Oh, my God. It's sad. It's pitiful, you know it. Mm, mm, mm. So, say a prayer for my neighbor. Their name is Keith and Norma. Bless their heart. They got some beautiful rabbits, too. Oh, God. Oh, now, the rabbits are in uh, their own little, own little coop, you know. Dog can't get in there. Oh, my God. I just, I can't quit thinking about it. It's pitiful. So, I'm going to go up there just as soon as I get, get the resin on this. And um, see if they need any help. Bless the heart. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm. It was horrible. All right, darlings. I'm just going to spread this around. Then I'm going to put me some UV on top of it. Now, I want to come out to where this indention is right here. I might be putting too much. I don't know. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my uh, silicone tube your pretty little butts in there. Take my silicone tool. Let me find it. A lot of mirrors sick. Here it is. And I'm just going to move them where I want them. Okay. And I got y'all zoomed all the way in. So I hope y'all can see it. And I got both ring lights on today. So maybe y'all can see see good today. Mm-hmm. I want y'all to know, when Girlie was a puppy, now I don't know if y'all have ever had an animal that done this, but when she was a puppy, I would pick her up and tote her on my hip. She would sit on my hip like a child, and I'd just walk around with her, and she'd just be sitting on my hip. Well, 
she thinks I can still pick her up. And I know, I, I haven't took her to the vet to see how much she weighs now, but I bet you she weighs probably 50 pounds, if not more. She is big and heavy. And she raises up on me. And she wants me to pick her up and put her on my hip, guys. Oh, bless it. <laughs> and when she does, she her sharp toenail scratches me. Look at that. That's all from her. I have to just... Oh, Lord of mercy. I don't know. I told Mama, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle her. She's so... She's just loving and the sweetest baby. She really is. Oh, she's a sweet baby. Mama wants me to bring her to her house. Mama lives um, almost two hours away. And Girlie, the only time she's ever rode in the car is when she came here. So, I have tried to get her in the car when I was just, you know, running town, check the post office box, something. Not going shopping or nothing because it's too hot for animals to be in the car. So, and she will not, she will not get in. And she'll see Cookie jump in there. And I'm thinking, oh, she's going to jump in now. But she does not. So, mm. But, I told Mama, I said, Mama, I would have to cover my whole back seat with puppy pads. Because, honey, when she uses the bathroom, it's like a big old cow patty. God bless it. And we'll ruin you. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. You know, I just share everything with y'all. Look, I don't even think about it. I just be sharing stuff with you. <laughs> oh. Share a little bit too much sometimes, don't I? About girly's poop. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> All right, darling. <laughs> I'm through. Okay. Now then. I'm praying I got enough. Oh, I hope I do. But, if I don't, the resin that I'm going to put on top of it is going to soak in there anyway. Now, I'm holding the tip of this bottle up against this plastic thing here. So, it will sink down around this rim. That's where I really, really want it to go. And then just let it move out. So, mm -hmm. my plan, Stan. That's my plan. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Around and around we go. I think that's going to be enough. I just want to get them all covered. I hope my UV resin comes in. This bottle is... I'm telling y'all, I can't believe it's not empty right now. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to put too much. Alright, I'm going to let it sit there for just a little bit. And let it soak into those, to that glass. Now I can really move it. Oh, look at that. I can move them out just a little bit more. And then I can poke around this edge here. And make sure that UV is down in there. Just take your silicone <coughs> brush and poke where your edge is. Just poke around it. Sorry if I'm putting my big old head in the way. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I think that's going to be it, babies. Okay. I'm just poking it. In case there's bubbles under there. I don't want any bubbles. Around this edge here. Alrighty. That's 
gonna be that, little machines. I think I put too much. And I made sure my table was level. Someone here. So, should be. Look, see, this has got a flat. See that flat uh, tip? Just take it and push. If there's any bubbles under there, they'll pop. Just take it and push it. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. They're all covered now. All right, darlings. Oh, get that prettiness off of there. Get off of there. I'm just making sure they're out to this. There's a line on this mold. And that's where I want the glass to be. And I think, I think I got it. Miss Patricia, you doing yours? I sent you a message. Told you I was picking out my colors and stuff. But I changed my mind so many times what I wanted to do to it, Miss Patricia. I can't wait to see yours. I know it's going to be beautiful. I just know it. Miss Patricia makes some... Oh, she makes some beautiful stuff. I'm telling y'all. That lady can make some pretty stuff. Alright, I'm going to wipe some of that off. Because I don't want all that. Don't want it. All right. Now let me get my lamp. What is that? Get out of there. Get my lamp and uh, cure this, and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm not gonna spray it with alcohol. I'm not gonna heat it or nothing. I'm just gonna. I'm looking for bubbles. That's what you. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm looking for. All right, I don't see any. Look at there. Woo! Ain't that pretty? I think it's pretty. All right, babies, I'll be right back. All right, darlings, it's all cured. I love Jay Ditchin. Look, not sticky or nothing. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, let's sneak peek. All right, now. Now then, I'm going to get my mask. I meant to get that while ago. Hold on. All right, babies. I'm probably going to sound like Dark Vader. But we're going to mix this resin, okay? Now, always wear your mask and your gloves when you're mixing resin. It's a chemical, honey. I pray y'all can hear me. I'm going to be using um, J. Dixon 4-Hour Resin, okay? Uh, full curing is 8 to 10 hours. Demolding is 4. Alright. Now then. You know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta dust first. So let's dust first. Let me take this off so y'all can hear me, Lord. Yeah, I got ahead of myself. Uh, if I can get it off. Yeah, there we go. Take them off, Lord have mercy. Alright, now. Got to hit myself there for a minute. All right, let's dust it. Move everything out of the way. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm not going to take this. If it gets on there, look, it's already on there. Then it's just going to be on there. I'll take some alcohol and I just got a little bitty paintbrush because I don't want to. I'm going to go down in the side. Look, down in the side of it. And see if I can pick up any. Now I'm going to dust on top of this UV resin too, you see. So here we go. Oh, Lord of G. There we go. Mm -mm. This brush ain't going to get it. Nay, nay, nay. Nay, nay, honey. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get this one. Let's try this one. That's just a big old 
Oh, look at that now. Mm-hmm. Now I'm just going to dust it. You know what? Let me try my finger. Sometimes your finger works better than a brush. Look at that. It sure does. Look at that. Way better. <laughs> just get your little pinch. Put it in. Hold it down and rub. Rub it where you want it. Put that down. This might be enough for the whole clock. See? Look at that. Your finger. And it really don't fly around that much when you use your finger. I think I'm going to just do the side too. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that gorgeousness. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord of mercy, I'm getting excited. <laughs> now, I'm going to go right up against this rim. This is going to come out, but I still want it right up against there. Get in these corners here. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. This is a pretty color. I think I'm going to do the whole side. I'm doing the whole side. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm doing it. I wasn't going to do it. And I was like, well, if it gets on there, I'll just wipe it off with an alcohol pad. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Honey, I'm doing it. It's pretty. Golly. Yeah. If you're using foil flakes, use your hand. Way better than a brush. Let me get another one more little pinch. Right here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Get around that. And make sure I get off up in here though. On this little brush. This little brush just don't want to do nothing. What the crap is going on with it? Oh, wow. I know y'all see this. Ooh, Lordy B. Mm -mm. This is going to be pretty. Oh, Lord of mercy. It's going to be pretty sitting on my um, nightstand by my bed. Let me get a little bit more because I see a little, a little bit right there. Just a hair. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I've been doing this the wrong way. I should have been using my finger. Yes. And I'm going to um, do the back with the, uh, I think I'm going to do black. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Would y'all look at that? Oh, look how your finger works. Just want to miss no spots. Sure, you get in all these little triangles. Mm, mm, mm. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. I am just shocked about it. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's that. Now we can mix up our resin. But I got to go to TT. I'm sorry. I got to TT. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, baby. Sorry about that. Now, this is the mask that I use to mix my resin. It has filters on both sides, and you can change them. Okay. Let me get it on. Let me get it on, babies. Over this ponytail. Okay. Oh. Wrap her up. 
Okay. Now we are ready to go. Okay. And the addiction for our B mold. I'm just going to mix up, I think, I'm not sure how much this holds. I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go a cup. Oh, shoot. That's what I think I'm going to do, a cup. Mmm, it might not hold that much. But if it don't, then it just won't. Alright, let's just do it. Hope I got a cup. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. There it is. Okay, that was part B. And we're going to do part A. Up to the eight. Alrighty. There we go. There we go. Let's see about this thing. I took the big one out because I didn't think I was going to need the big one, but I think I'm going to need the big one. That's a lot of resin. So you just pop your little toe in. It says, put it in the resin, and then turn it on. Ooh, I'm nervous. All right, here we go. Here we go, baby. Up and down, it says. You can put it on the side. It'll scrape your side. Look at that. I'm going to turn it up a little. Ooh. Here we go. We're wide open. I don't know. I might need to do that one. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, shoot now. I think I'm going to change to the little one. I think this one's too big. Because it's wanting to hit my cup. So, let me get my uh, little tool here. Get the resin off. We'll try both of them. See which one works the best, huh? It's going to be a long video, ain't baby? It don't matter. It don't matter. Okay. That's good enough. Just pull it out. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. Alright. That's good enough. Spray it with alcohol so it won't pierce. How about that? Alright, now then, we're going to put our little one in here. Let's see what that one is. I think I got it all the way uh, charged. Alright, here we go. Oh! Oh, shoot now. Yeah, that's what I needed. The little one. That big one was too big. Look at that. Up and down, it says. It sure saves on my list. Yay! Look at that, guys. Y'all see how clear this thing got? Wow. Uh, 
coming up against the side, and it'll give you a sound. I wish I could say, let me see. Let me give it up here. I don't know if y'all can say it. Oh, that cut. Probably not, but look how clear. Look how clear that is. Wow. Wow, wow. And I'm just going to make it until I don't see any more little strings. You know, those little stringies. That lets me know that it, uh, it's mixed when those little strings are bit for gone. Wow. I love this song, y'all. I knew I would. And you think I don't have to do this all the time. Wow. It says go up and down and around in circles. I guess that gets the side of your cup. When you go around in circles. Look at that. Wow, look at all that. Don't see it. It is spinning it, baby. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. I wonder if I bring it up a little bit. I could have spin that rose and all. Yep. Don't have to wipe it as much. Wow. Gang changes, everybody. Gang changes. Now, I have had a version mixer before, but nothing like this. And it was when I first started um, doing raisin. And I don't think, I think that's when they first came out with the um, stars. And they really wasn't, they really wasn't that good. But I love this one. Okay. Let me get the resin off. Like a little mixer. That's a big old person. See that resin coming off? Wow. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a stick. And I'm going to do the sides and the bottom to see if it got it off the sides and the bottom. Mm -hmm. That'll be our little test, won't it? Okay, let me get this clean. All right. Go ahead and mark this one. Okay. There we are. I'm going to uh, I'm going to show y'all off in there. Hold on just a second. Y'all see how clear that is? Throw you some paper towel on your um Spray some alcohol on your paper towel and just get it clean. Okay. Let's see it. Alright. 
Now then, you get me a stick. Now, a stick incorporates bubbles, as we know. But, I just want to see if it got, got it mixed up good. Did it get the sides good? The bottom, I'm going to scrape the bottom. And see what I say. Nothing. Yes, it does. It gets your sides and your bottom. Oh, be more careful. All right, let me get this off so y'all can hear me. Oh, Lord Jesus. Come on here. Come on here. All right. All right. I'm back. Y'all. It's, it mixed it. There is no, you know how you'll see the little stringy bits? That's what I call them. I don't know what they're called. But there's none in there when I scrape this side. Now I'm going to do like this and make sure. Let's look. Nothing. There's nothing. It mixed it. Mm-mm. Nothing. I ain't never in my life. Wow. I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm incorporating some bubbles with this stick. It was not the mixer. It was a stick. And I knew it was going to do it, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's get our stuff in there. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to give it a spirit since I messed it up. All right, now then. This is what I'm going to be mixing in here. Uh, U.S. Art Supply. Dry Mica Pearl Powder, Midnight Black. U.S. Art Supply. Okay. I'm put some of this in there. Get my spoon. I'll leave a spoon in there, but I don't know if I can reach it once it falls down in there. I'm going to put two big heapings. Because that's a cup of resin. And then see what I get. Okay. Oh, come on back on there. I got these bottles from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut up my, my bag. And uh, now I can't. They don't have them. Now I'm going to use this Interference Pink. And I'm going to mix it in with this black. But I'm going to get my black mixed in first. Okay. I'll get this black mixed in. Then I'm going to add me some of that interference pink. And honey, it's going to change this whole color of this resin. Mm -hmm. I did that by accident one day. I was, um, I meant to pick up some more black. That's what it was because I was mixing my black mica powder. And I meant to pick up some more black, but I didn't. I accidentally picked up, I think it was purple, purple uh, interference powder, and put me a chunk in there before I realized that it was not black, and baby, it was gorgeous. It's on one of my videos. It's probably way down there. Don't forget to scrape your stick, because that mica powder sticks to it, okay? I'm going to give this a good jiggle around. Now, while this is curing, I'm only supposed to take four hours. I'm going to go and help my neighbor. Mm, mm, mm. Bless their heart. My heart is just hurting for them. I mean, every one. Every one of their chickens. Every one of them. Mm. He thinks it was a dog. I mean, we live out here in the boondocks. It could have been a wolf. It could have been a fox. It could have been a coyote. It could have been a... Honey, we could have a black panther. So, I don't know. But whatever it was, it's done got the taste of blood now. And it will be back. It'll be back. And he said he's going to be waiting. Oh, Lord of mercy. Hmm. You know, that's nature. That's what nature nature does. But it was just weird. It looks like 
I guess he thinks it was a dog because they didn't eat the chickens. They didn't eat them. They just killed them. Every, every one of them. I'm sorry to keep talking about it, but I just, I'm just in shock. That big old spoon ain't going in there, Wanda. What are you thinking, girl? Get you a little spoon. Quit acting crazy. Come on. Girlfriend. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? I'm going to put two scoops of this, and I might put, oh, look at that. See? You see that? I'm going to hold it up before I stir it. Here goes another chunk. Now, I'm going to see what that looks like, and if I like it, then I'll go with it. If I don't like it, I'm going to put some more. But look at that. Y'all see that pink already laying on top of that black? See it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little interference in your black. It's a game changer. I love this mixer. I love it. I could probably use it. Oh, wow. Why did I wipe it off? I could have used it to mix up this mica. I bet it would have been mixed up good, too. The way this is made, it does your sides. And this goes on your bottom. Honey. Mm -mm. I'm in shock. I really am. Because I thought it was going to be a lot of bubbles. I thought I was going to have to just keep mixing the resin with my hand. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see that pink. But it is. Oh, God, it's so pretty. Let me cut this light off and maybe y'all can see it. Let me cut that one off. Uh, I don't know how to hold it. But anyway, there is a pink hue in there, babies. Oh, it's pretty. I think I'm going to put one more scoop, though. I think I want one more scoop. Where's my little spoon? One more little heaping. Mm -hmm. there we go. Yeah, that's going to be enough, I hope. Mm -mm -mm. It's probably, you probably can't even see it. But I'm telling you, it's pretty. And let me whoop it. I'm going to pour a little bit. Let it sit. Give it a little bit of heat. That way, if it's bubbles that I done beat to death off up in here, and I know it is, then they'll come to the top and I can blow them. All right. Okay. There we are. There we are, babies. Let me wipe my stick. Alrighty. Now, here we go. I'm just going to put um, a little bit, and then I'm going to blow it. I hope I didn't disturb the part where those... Uh, where that UV resin is. I hope I didn't pull it up none when I was uh, flipped it over to cure the back. I hope I didn't. If this goes under it, I don't know what did, Wanda. I don't know why I wiped that stick. I was going to put it in there. Alright, let me get the get the heat gun. And I think I'm going to get Big Daddy. I'm going to get Big Daddy gun. He does a lot more blowing. All right, let's give it some heat to him, babies. And that'll let you know if your mica is mixed up good enough, too, when you heat it. Look at them bubbles popping. I love this resin. God, I love it.
All right. Now let that be good. I'm gonna let it be good, babies. And I'm gonna pour some more wine. Does that look black to you or pink? I think it's gonna take this whole cup. Let it sit there for just a minute. Give it a little tap around. Everything I'm using will be in the description, okay, baby? Even this good one. I guess they still make that heat gun. I'm sure they do. I'm just knocking stuff off in the floor. Mm, mm, mm. I think it's going to take this whole cup, babies. Yep. And probably a little more. Oh, Lord have mercy. I would say... Mm, eight ounces is a cup. I would say probably ten. Ten ounces. Ten or twelve. Instead of eight. I don't know who told me about that uh, paper towel thing that I could put my cup, my tumbler on, my base, stand my base on it, but I got me one, went to the Dollar Tree today, and um, I got this mixing cup, because I wanted y'all to be able to see that mixer, that resin mixer going around and around. Okay, well, that's all it's getting. I think it can hold a couple more ounces, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, let's see. And I may have to go on to mix some up. Choot, choot. I think I am. Because I want it full, you know. All right. Give this some heat. All right, babies. I think I'm just going to do it. Just leave it like that, I think. Because, um, it's only a little bit. Uh, all right, I'll be back. All right, babies. I mixed up two more ounces. I'm thinking that's going to do it. And it might be too much. No, it ain't. Mm -mm. That's going to be it. So, I mixed up eight. It's got ten ounces for this mold. Ten. Ten ounces, baby. Y'all know what I I don't like is cleaning cups and sticks when I'm done. And I used to use paper cups, and that way I could just throw them in the garbage. But I was like, Lord, I'm spending money when I can just use silicone cups. And uh, my, that doggone thing ain't level. Now it said it was. Let me see if I can get something on here. There we go. There we go. That's it. We'll give it a little spritz. Pop them bubbles. And that's it, loves. I'm going to do the cleaning and then four hours. Let's see it's, what time is it because I don't really want to see. It takes four hours. It's 3.30. 4, 30, 5, 6, 7, 30. This is supposed to be ready. Okay. So, I'll be back. 
I will be back. Clean this off a little bit. All right. All right. That's that. See y'all at 7.30. Bye. I'm back. Hey, it only took two hours. And probably because it's a deep mold. But it's not warped or anything. So, hey. Good deal. Let's get it out of here. I hope everything is cured. <laughs> it looks like it. I got a little um, overpour, see? So I'm just going to pop the middle. Oh, there we are. Oh! <gasps> There it is. Let me see if I can get some more light on it. Oh, Lord of gee. Y'all got to see it. Oh, my goodness. Do y'all like it? I like it. I like it. Look at it. Oh, I think it's pretty. I got just a little, little, uh, and y'all know what? That feels like fall. You know the foil flakes that I rubbed on there? It feels just like foil. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. All right, let's see. Let's give this a little shave around. Okay. Remember, if y'all do this mold, 10 ounces. Mm-hmm. Ten ounces, baby. And since it's got a little uh, edge on it, you might can do eleven. So I should have put a piece of paper down. All right, there it is. Now then, get on out of the way, get on out of the way, alright, oh my god, now I see where it, a little bit of resin got under my UV, alright, now then, here is the, um, I'm going to use the silver I think, hmm, I don't know, let's try the gold, Look what the gold looks like. It comes with three little clips. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. The gold. The gold, of course, after I didn't get the battery in. But let me show y'all how to. Um, this is the clip. Oh God, yes. The gold, of course. The gold. I like the silver too, though, but I think the gold. Now, let me show you how to get this open. I took my little tweezers. Let me see where they're at. And you, there's a little hole right there. It's got an arrow pointing to it. See it? I just went in here and pushed. And it popped out. There you go. See? It popped open. Now, let me take the battery out of here and put it in the gold. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, dude. Mmm, that's hard to get open. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. I guess you can just pull it off. I broke that just a little bit. God. Leave it to me. And I got my little piece, I think. But it didn't go. Where did it go? I just seen it. Where is it? 
Get in there, please. Mmm. For crying out loud. All right, let's put this in first then. There. Put the plus side in first. All right, let's set it. Set it and forget it. It is 5.30. So, it's got this little dial back here. That's how you change your time. I still feel a little heat coming. So, it's probably still curing on the inside. <laughs> Hey. All right, here we go. Bob. If I even got the clock right. Where is my 12? Yeah. All right, so. Uh, Oh, I hear that ticking. I love that ticking. I'm going to set it five minutes faster. Okay, now it has these little clips here. Now, Blan, it's supposed to hold your clock in. So, there's three little dents. There's one. There's one. There's one more. I'm at, right there. Okay, so... There's some little slots, so you put this in there. Now, thank you, glue it, but I'm I'm gonna put it in first, and make sure that I'm doing it right. You know, make sure I'm doing it right. If I can hold them in there, look at there. I think I'm gonna have to glue it. I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, Lord of mercy. Mm -hmm. These little clips. Hold your clock in, you see. And there's one more, I think. Well, maybe not. That's an extra. In case you break it, you know, like I do. Yeah, I think you do have to glue these because I don't think that's going to stay. On there, but I'm gonna try it. It snaps in. Oh man, that one didn't do it. That's what they're for. So, anyway, I'll do that later. Just snap it in. Okay, there it is. Oh, is that not gorgeous? Do y'all love it? I freaking love it. I was going to do some gold around the edge, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to leave it like it is. And don't forget to put your clips in there because your clock going to fall out if you don't. Now, why that hole is so big? Look how deep. That's weird. Huh. Is it a double-sided clock? It stands just like that. I think it's gorgeous. Let's see what's going on. Oh my dear God. Look at that. Look at that. I did not know that. Silver. Gold. I guess that's what that's for because. I mean. Why would it be so deep? Why would it fit both of them? Right? So we got one back here on the back. I'm glad I did the little design back there. Or you can turn it this away. Double-sided clock. Got to be more careful. Got to be more careful. Ain't that something? That's something, guys. But, of course, that's why it's so deep. So, remember, when y'all do it, make sure you do this side pretty, too, I guess. Mm -hmm, I just dropped me some. It was, uh, I think, this red gold alcohol ink and I just took a stick and went through it. I'm glad I did now. Lord have mercy jeez. A double sided clock. 
which side's your favorite? I bet I know. Which side is your favorite? Silver side? Gold side? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's my favorite. Hold on. I'm going to get a uh, copper pen, and I'm going to go around the edge of this and see if I can make it, you know, a little prettier. Be right back. Do y'all hear me when I say I got a rose gold leafing pen? Rose gold. Oh, Lord, how much. Look at that. Oh, my God, it's the same freaking color. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's crazy. Just going to go around the edges. Try not to get my big old finger stuck in it. I don't have any bubbles. Thank God. No bubble holes. I did not know this was a double sided clock. Oh, I love that ticking. Can y'all hear it? I love it. I'm going to go around this middle. Uh-oh, got a little. There we go. Miss Patricia, <clears throat> did you know this was a double-sided clock? Because, honey, I'm shocked about it. Two moles in one. Two things in one. There it is. Rose gold. Now, let's see what the gold looks like on this side. Ooh! <laughs> that gold! You just can't go wrong with it, can you? That gold's gorgeous. And here's the silver. Double side of clock. Got to be more careful. Got to be. But I think, I don't know. I like both of them. So, there it is. I'm scared to lay it down. I don't know if the I guess it's dry. There it is, loves. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. There you go. All right, darlings. That's it. I love y'all. And thank y'all for watching. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a battery in this and snap them in there. See, it stands up. Look at that. Or, put your other side, and I remember my clips ain't on it. Put your other side, stand it up on that side. I cannot believe it. I'm just shocked about it being double-sided. That's why it's got two clocks. I thought it was so you could choose if you wanted gold or silver. But, mm -mm, I'm going to get a battery, and I'm putting in that. And I love y'all, and thank y'all for watching, and... If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know I make a mess. I know I do. Um, everything will be in the description that I used. My affiliate links and my coupon codes and all that good stuff will be down there. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next video. I got something in my mind that I want to do. I just got to um, get it right. Oh, what I'm gonna do to it, okay? All right, darlings, I'll let y'all go. Let me get a let's get a prayer card. Let's get a prayer card, babies. I cannot believe that's a double sided clock, Miss Patricia. Look at that, Miss Patricia. Mm -mm -mm. You get tired of looking at one side and you flip it around, look at the other one. Mm. Oh Lord have mercy. That's something. All right, babies, here we go. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Exodus chapter 15, verse 2. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Amen. Amen, babies. That is right, ain't it? All right, darling. 
I'll let y'all go. Y'all have a blessed night. And I'll see y'all in the next one, okay? Peace, love, present, happiness, babies. Bye.